to The Dish. Happy almost Halloween. Thank you again for tuning in. I'm Anna Christina and I'm so excited because I'm in the kitchen with one of my really good friends, Lexi Lee Soto. Say hello to everyone. Hi everybody. I'm Lexi. Hey. Okay. So Lexi is probably one of the most creative people I've ever met in my life. And when I first moved to Augusta, yeah. you were probably, you became one of my first friends here. Yes, I sure did. And I've been going to you now for three years. She does my nails. Check out my nails. Like, look how creative this is. I don't know if you can get a shot of that, but I oh, love it. And look at hers. So anyways, like I said, she's so creative. And every year you put on a Halloween party. Yes. And you go all out. I sure do. I love Halloween. Love it. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, you decorate, you do treats, invitations, yeah. everything. And I make everything. Absolutely everything. Even your costumes, which we're going to yes. talk about a little bit later. But so last year I went to help you and this girl doesn't just lay out the cookies or lay out apples. I mean, she tricks them out. So <laughs> today we're actually going to show everybody how to do them because I thought it'd be so fun, especially for kids. Yes. And you have kiddos of your own. I have so. two kids, a two-year-old and a five-year-old. There you go. Shout out to them. Hey, Emerson Bennett. Hey, Emerson. <laughs> <laughs> and we can't forget your husband. George, of hey, course. George. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So talk to us about the, the two treats that we're going to be making today. Okay. We're so, making one in particular. Yeah, we're just making one. Mm -hmm. And it's called the Dracula Dentures. Not hard to say. Yeah, Dr at all. Dracula Dentures. Dentures yeah. There you go. <laughs> These are so cute. Uh -huh. So talk to me. What what does okay. it take to make them? Because okay. it's pretty simple. So, yeah, so there's this chocolate chip cookies, okay. marshmallows, red icing, and almond pieces. And they it looks like they'd be difficult, but show us the process. Like how do we get started? So we grab a cookie mm -hmm. and we cut it in half. And be careful, they're kinda tricky because sometimes they break. Okay. But that doesn't go. matter because Woo, you can eat. She did it. <laughs> I did it. First shot. There you go. So you take one cookie and you make you're making the full mouth with that one cookie, yes. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then and then should we I do the next step. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. You know. So from there we take the red frosting, right? Yes. And then we just we turn them upside down. Put them on each side of the cookie. Just like this. Yes. Let's see if I. Yeah, see this is so simple and it'd be fun to do with the kids during Halloween. And then we do the other side, let me get some more. Just like this, how cute is this, guys? It's so simple and so yummy. And like I said, you're tricking out yes. your treat. Haha, <laughs> 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 trick or treat, or both. Okay, so then from there. <laughs> I'm so silly. <laughs> My is shaking his head at me in shame. Yeah. And then we take some of these guys, yeah, right? Normally four. Okay. If you want bigger cookies, you can do bigger cookies as well. But I just like the Chips Ahoy. So, yeah. And they're little. They taste better, huh? Yes. Yeah, so that's what you do. And then you grab two almonds. Okay. You know how to do this. Yeah. So and you put it through out. the first one and the fourth one. Okay. So right here? Yes. Check out that. And those are the little teeth, the little fangs. Dracula. Yeah. Okay. And then you stick the other one right on top. And, and there you have it. Voila. Oh my gosh. And Dracula dentures. Look at that. How cute is this? Woo. Get it. And <laughs> the funny thing is, a lot of times people say that, you know, when you do stuff like this, it doesn't taste good. Yes. But who doesn't love marshmallows and cookies? cookies. Of course, this is going to taste yes. great. So we'll just put these right here. And then tell us about the other ones you brought because we don't just want to eat unhealthy. Junk, yes. Yeah, junk. <laughs> we, we want some happy, healthy choices as well. Mm -hmm. So we did the apple bites. Silly apple, apple bites. Silly apple bites. And we're just going to uh -huh. call them monster. Silly monster bites because they look like little monsters, don't they? Oh, look at that. So cute. So how easy is this to make? Oh, this is very simple as well. You get a green apple mm -hmm. and you cut it in fours. And then you dip the outside with lemon juice so they don't go yellow. Exactly. And then you just slice up a cut piece here and the mouth uh -huh, mm -hmm. and gut it out. And then put some peanut butter. And then we cut strawberries into slices as well and as a little the tongue. tongue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we stick on these eyes. You can put two or one. Yeah. And then again, we use That's the like almonds. Cuisine. And almonds. And, yep, for teeth, and you just you stick go. it in. So these are super simple, and like you said, I mean, it gives you an option mm -hmm. for a healthy choice yeah. because 
it's not always that parents want their kids to eat junk, junk food. Yes, and they so, can have plenty of that. Yeah, so what a great <laughs> option. Like you said, okay, so there's the Dracula bite, or the Dracula dentures, yes. got that right, and then the silly apple bites, bites. we're calling them silly, silly monster, monster bites. bites. And these recipes, she's kind enough to share them. They're going to be on the dishon6.com, so you'll be able to do this at home yourself with your kids or just for your Halloween party for adults, whoever. But um, do not go anywhere because when we come back, Lexi's still going to be in here with us and we're going to talk about Halloween costumes. Some of your, um, some of the audience members sent some pictures in, so they're so cute. Do not go anywhere. We're going to show them off when we come back. Do the dish. We are in the kitchen. I'm joined by my friend Lexi Lee Soto. Thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. Now, I just, I just talked about you being probably one of the most creative people. Mm -hmm. I mean, she does she does my nails, y'all, so you have to go see her at Nails by Lexi. But she also helped me today with these fun little treats that you can have at parties. Yes. Or for oh, this anything. Yeah, they're so cute. So explain to me, what did we make? Which we, ones did we make? We made those ones. We showed the Dracula dentures. Yes. And then so the silly apple bites. Which we renamed them, Silly yes. Monster Bites. Silly Monster Bites. <laughs> and one is a healthy option and one is more junk food, but it's still okay to have a couple of those. It's not yes. bad. But um, before we went, or before we took a break, we mentioned Halloween costumes, and some of the audience members actually sent in photos of their kids dressed up for Halloween, and we have to show them off. They're so cute. So if we can pull up that first one, Tina Nordine sent this in of her daughter. Check this one out, Lexi. How cute is that? That is beautiful. She's a Dalmatian. That is so creative. Right? It's mm -hmm. so creative. It is so cute. She calls it um, the Dalmatian girl. She actually wore this for a Halloween pageant. Love it. And the next one we have, super cute, Natalia sent this in. Look at her two little kids. That's One's cute. an elephant. Can you see that? Yes. And is that a, a banana? banana? Yeah, yeah the banana. banana. <laughs> How cute is that? Do elephants like bananas? They like peanuts. Yeah. Do they like bananas? Oh, no. Maybe. <laughs> and then this next one is from Krista and her two sons. Check that out. That is adorable. They joined up. This is Derek and Diego and they are Woody and Buzz. Isn't that so cute? So cute. I love it. And this next one, Megan, she sent in of her son. She called this her Lego ninja. Yeah. That's me, right? <laughs> is he in the bathroom? I yeah. think he so. is. He's in the bathroom. He's fighting crime in the bathroom. <laughs> All right, and then Brittany Boggs, she sent this one in of her son. She actually made this. Oh, wow. So her, she did a great job. Yeah, her husband, she said, is going to be Bat Dad, and then her son is Robin, so that's really cute. And then this last one is from Holly. This is her daughter, and of course, Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. Isn't of that course. cute? Who doesn't want to be Tinkerbell? Right? <laughs> and so I mentioned that. A couple of these parents yes. made their own costumes, and she makes her own costume, not just for herself, but for her two kids yes. and for her husband. And we have to show these off because check this out. I mean, she does an incredible job. This is Little Mermaid, so each one of you had a part. Yes. So who was who? Emerson was the Little Mermaid. Mm -hmm. I was Ursula, and Bennett was Sebastian, and my husband was King, King Triton. Triton. Yeah, uh -huh. and it doesn't seem like Little Bennett is happy there, but we have another one. Yes. This one is so cute. She was a 50s girl, is that right? Yes, the 50s girls. Oh, so I she know. had to dress up at school. Oh my goodness. And then another family photo that we have here. Everybody loves Frozen. Frozen. Oh my gosh. Yes, Emerson was obsessed with Elsa. Uh-huh. So she was Elsa, I was Anna, and Bennett was you Olaf. Played me. I called Disney uh. and I told them that I don't have red hair. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. And then my husband was um, Prince, what was his name? I forget his name, but that's okay. The bad one. The, ba the bad, the bad one. one. But yeah. he's not bad. <laughs> but these are so cute, and there she is, Elsa, Princess Elsa. I love this. She's absolutely so creative, and I can't tell you, she's been such a good friend to me since I've moved here. And um, speaking of kiddos, something yeah. I wanted to highlight also is Wendy's. Wendy's is having, on November 15th, a Across the country, including Augusta, they're having National Adoption Night, and so, um, or they're highlighting the National Adoption Night program, and it's being held during Founders Week to honor Dave, who is the founder of Wendy's. And if you didn't know this, he actually adopted his daughter, Wendy, and they want to shine a light on, um, a spotlight on the tremendous contribution that Wendy's makes every year, and um, they're making a big difference in the local communities with the Dave Thomas Foundation for Adoption and Wendy's Wonderful Kids. And 
So on November 15th, mm -hmm. that night, anything that you purchase, 15% of the proceeds will go to back into this program. And so where are we going to go to yes. dinner on November Wendy's. 15th? We're going to dinner at Wendy's on November 15th, yes. so be sure that you guys do too. All right, do not go anywhere. Thank you so much, Lexi, for being here and having some fun with me. Stay put. When we come back, we have some other dates that you need to be jotting down, plus a musical performance you don't want to miss. We'll be right back. You're watching The Dish on W.